Hey, what's up there, guys? Corey here with Anarchy Community. We're taking a look at the brand new Google Play Store um, version 4.0. This was just released today, as I'm sure plenty of you already are familiar with. Google just started rolling this out. It's an all new Google Play, completely redesigned. Um, it's all about a better experience, a crisp experience, HD images, bigger items, and a more streamlined experience with suggestions and what have you. But uh, it's rolling out now. A lot of people probably haven't received it yet, but we do have a download link already available on the site as well as in this post as well. So uh, hit it below if you'd like to get it now. But instantly here you can see the brand new Google Play experience, a couple of the icons up top, and then all these just large, um, almost you know Google Now style cards, I guess you could call them, with their each individual you know little cards. Um, and it's really nice. It's like an endless never-ending list of just suggestions and personalized apps and music for you and good books to read and it's kind of gives Google their own their own opportunity to maybe you know give you suggestions or recommendations um, based on you know what you've already downloaded and whatnot so it's definitely a better experience than before um, and then over here just for fun I also have the old version and then the tablet version and a couple things like that so I'll actually go right into the old old school Google Play Store version 3 right here and then this is the new 4.0 that launched today and you can see right off the bat I mean it's it's definitely cleaner I like the black look a little more myself um, as far as the theme but that can be themed but when you look at it I mean it's just it's not as cluttered this has kind of big things here a couple small tabs and then everything's just kind of different look nothing's kind of uniform to be honest I mean I, I enjoyed it but it's really not all that uniform and now it's just kind of a simple layout with the six icons up top some free music and then just a very uniform layout I mean it's not completely uniform there's a couple things like that exclusive video that kind of separate all these cards but it's it's definitely a better look better approach if you ask me so go ahead and go into apps go into apps and uh, we'll take a look at a couple of the apps and then right here I mean obviously with the old version you have this huge Evernote um, banner and then you get a couple f four little boxes here and the staff picks and games are kind of a little ugly to be honest and now we have these nice cards editor's choice it's a little polished it looks better it's smoother and then it goes from like one big one to four to like a completely different design style here with a two random recommendations and then it goes back to four and it's just not all that uniform and now it's just kind of this much better experience again it still has the recommendations and couple of recommended uh, apps are bigger than the other the other tiles or cards but in general as you can see definitely uh, definitely a different approach by Google so go ahead and slide over to top paid top paid and now here you can see they're focusing much more on bigger you know bigger thumbnails you know, bigger artwork better design a simple design obviously the card layout very similar to Google uh, now um, and Android 4.1 jelly bean 4.2 jelly bean and, uh, and then obviously the, the developers kind of have their own line to kind of feature their apps which instead of scattered here might it kind of just makes it look cleaner and it might be better for the developers will be a little happier with that I'm sure and uh, then as you scroll through on um, top grossing and then top new paid and then when it kind of you know just it's all very similar in a way but it's just cleaner then when you scroll over to trending it changes again which is a little odd you go over to trending on on the old style and it's still the same throughout but uh, when you go to trending on the new the new one right here, slide over to trending, it goes back to this bigger card style. So um, if it's not something that's, you know, it's, it just doesn't really make sense to be bigger, but I do like it. Um, they're large and in your face, and it gives you all these suggestions right out the gate, which is quite nice. Um, so that's definitely a welcome change by Google. But we're going to go ahead and set that down. Um, kind of get this tablet going again. We'll show that in a minute. But you now when you look at the uh, the brand new... Uh, 4.0, go ahead and go back to uh, the beginning here, you have the games and the movies and everything's the same layout in general. Um, obviously it's just different colors and what have you, but it's all pretty similar. Movies have a nice look and feel to them as well, giving you all these, uh, all these menus full size, so it's definitely nice. Um, it takes a second to catch up sometimes, but it's, it's actually pretty quick. Might not be as fast on a data connection, but it's been pretty solid here. Um, and then another thing, let's go in a couple of the settings are, for example, uh, one thing that's nice is the uh, the auto update feature. If you install an app now, um, it all instantly goes into a, a little option to auto update should you choose when you're on Wi-Fi. Before, um, like if you go into something like Facebook, um, there was a little button here that said, you know, auto update. We click that to auto update if you'd like. So that's now gone, um, but it's fine with me. You can come into menu and add it right there, auto update, and that's 
that'll auto update that specific app. Um, so whether it be Facebook or Google Now or, or you know anything you'd like, you can choose individually like before. Um, but instead of it being on this layout, um, it's a pop-up when you install the app as well as in settings. So then another thing here in settings um, that was interesting was auto add widgets. You can auto add widgets, which will automatically add home screen widgets for new apps. So you download an app, and uh, some people that might not be extremely familiar with Android, they download an app and they're like, where's my icon? Um, now it'll auto add the widget, because widgets a lot of the time don't have icons. Um, not quite sure how that's going to work with something like uh, HD widgets that has like 90 different sizes for every device imaginable. But uh, that's nice. And then auto update apps is in here again. Auto update apps at any time. Data charging may apply. You can do it over Wi-Fi only. That was... It was kind of there before, but they've changed it a little bit. Um, then some content filtering, what have you. But uh, And then let's go back, because there's another thing that I liked. We'll show you on the tablet here. Um, one thing that's really cool with the brand new Google Play Store 4.0 is these little three dots, which we are very familiar with, with the menus and with Google Now and everything, has been added um, in a way to just quickly, instantly, you click that once, and you can open or install an app. I have that installed already, so that's why it gave me the open. So um, before, you know, let's go to a you know, top page. When you're scrolling through all the apps here, and you want to install something before you have to click on it, and then it opens, and you click install. But now, when you're, when you're on this list, you can click the little three menu buttons, and instantly, right on the screen, hit install, and there it is, the pop-up, you don't leave where you're at, you don't leave where you're going. There's that automatically uh, update on Wi-Fi, go ahead and hit not now. So there it is, I'm down, now downloading and installing Pandora Radio. I haven't left what I'm at, where I'm, where I'm at, what I'm looking at, so it's definitely, definitely a welcome change to be able to just instantly see everything um, and not kind of get distracted and go to other areas. And that little keep shopping tab on the old Play Store was, was awful. But uh, that's just a quick look, the brand new Google Play Store 4.0, just released today. Get it at the site, download available now. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Let us know. Thanks for watching.